I missed community day, so in today's Sea of Thieves adventure, myself and my friend Birch set out to make the most amount of money we could in the most efficient way we could think of. This was by using a simple rotation of nearby shrines to guarantee hundreds of items of loot, and we wanted to see just how much we could stack for a whole day before selling everything at Gold Rush. Our journey starts at Plunder Outpost. We decided to not run Emissary for a while until the last few shrines before Gold Rush, and this was because we didn't want to put a massive target on our backs, especially due to the fact that we would be running the Reaper's Bones faction, due to all of the various loot we would be getting. The route that we are going to be taking for the most efficient loot cycle is to start by sailing to the Shrine of Tribute. Here I will be dropping Birch off to complete the shrine, storing all of the loot in the mermaid. While he's completing this shrine, I sail over to the shrine of Ocean's Fortune. By the time I arrive, Birch should be almost done with the shrine of tribute, so I'm able to jump right down below and start working on my shrine. While this is happening, Birch is sailing over to the treasury of the lost ancients, whilst on the way stocking up the boat for supplies. By the time he arrives, I will have completed the Ocean's Fortune Shrine, allowing Birch to start the treasury. I then immediately sail over to the Shrine of Ancient Tears, which is the longest sail of the run, allowing Birch time to finish the treasury, being waves of skeletons, ocean crawlers, and sirens. Each mermaid can store up to 20 items of loot, so in one cycle, theoretically, we could be getting 80 items, four of them being guaranteed chest of tributes, as all of these shrines have a final room with the best treasure in. All of that being said, we stocked up our boat and started our long journey. Our first shrine was the Shrine of Tribute. Here I dropped off Birch to complete this one. This shrine forces you to swim around solving a mermaid puzzle to move an ancient statue, revealing a chest of tribute. While Birch was completing this, I travelled over to the Shrine of Ocean's Fortune. This specific shrine always has so much loot in, as there are so many spots it can spawn in. Anyway, after solving the mast puzzles and reaching the top of the spire, this was our second chest of tribute. Moving on to the treasury. Birch kindly took this on for the session, again completing this while I was sailing over to the Shrine of Ancient Tears. This shrine sees you light beacons in a somewhat maze to unlock doors and holes in the wall, in order to unlock the final vault room. After we both completed the final shrines, we would sail around collecting the mermaids whilst also doing the loop all over again. Oh my god, that it bugged out so that like when I collected the treasure, the Momo was swimming down because the boat was too close to it, and now the loot is like right next to the boat. I'm gonna be a pain in the ass to get on. Do you want some? Go on, be generous out there. God, you sound like the Joker. <laughs> I'm the Joker, baby. I don't no, even have I the energy. This, uh, scars. <laughs> I reached uh, tier 100 and uh, I can pass. <laughs> 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 that's a pretty good one, right? Yeah, you, that's probably the funniest thing you've ever said. Actually, you have fun with this. Oh, nice. <laughs> Great teamwork. Mm. And when we do inevi uh, inevitably get into a fight, I need to remember to actually use like the anchor balls and like shit like that. Yeah. yeah. Also, uh, just a little request, like you know, take it to heart if you want, but can you like not shoot off the boat? <laughs> We continued to do the loop until a Ashen Winds event spawned right by one of the shrines we was doing near Mermaid's Hideaway. After some deliberation, we decided it best to clear this event to prevent any ships from getting in our way. Oh no, he's using up the Ashen Winds go. It's gonna be a worthless. Oh no. I just need a moment. Please, <laughs> just guys. Please, guys. I just need Wait. a moment to leave a like, comment and subscribe. <laughs> 
and ring the notification bell. <laughs> you are hitting him right on. There you go. Oh, I wouldn't give it a hit mark soon. Easiest world to win, bro. So stupid how good, how fast you can do this shit. Turns out that that didn't even matter because a skeleton fort spawned even closer to our shrine, so we just continued to our grind. A skull fort appears right next to us as well. Like what? That's what where I was gonna supply up. Fuck, dude. I guess I won't supply up this round. Yeah. While sailing around, we was always looking out for two things on separate islands. These being coral bottles, which can spawn Breath of the Sea in the shrines, and a harpoon robo to make selling at the end so much easier. Luckily, Birch was able to locate one later on in our adventure. However, we was not getting at all lucky with coral bottles, and when we did finally find them, they would be on the other side of the map. You will not believe your eyes, bro. We have a fucking harpoon robot. Oh my god. Not a drill, not a drill. We have a robot. Nice. It was shortly after this that Birch loaded all of our loot onto the robo, with the idea that if we was to get into a fight, he would row it away as there was so much at stake. This was to prevent the robo from being damaged and losing all of the loot, as there would be absolutely no way of harpooning that many items back onto our boat. Then this happened. We've already started uh -oh. sailing. We got Krakened. I fucking hate you so much. I. What? What? How is this my fault? <laughs> this is your, all your fault. I'm taking the robot away, right? No, just to leave it on. Can the Kraken? I don't the... know. That's the I'm thing. Taking, I'm taking. I'm taking the robot away. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> uh... Of course we've got to fucking um. crack in, dude. I've got to cry. <laughs> okay, anchor if we're done. Oh yeah, I'm heading back with the robots. I got repair. After this scare with 13 chest of tributes aboard and four more stored in mermaids, we decided to have a break. As we was nearing on the gold rush hour, our plan was to wait until 45 minutes before Gold Rush to allow us to raise Reaper, complete four more shrines as well as picking up the tributes already stored in the mermaids. This meant we was going to end up with a total of 21 completions minimum. We took our break by sitting at the sea fort closest to Plunder Outpost. Guess not. Once our break had concluded, we raised Reaper and quickly completed and collected loot from the four shrines one last time before heading over to Reapers as a Reaper 5 emissary to sell. What? How what? we get so much rep for just opening the merm? I don't know. You think they're doing the fort? I want to claim it. What do you want from me? I'm back. Help me grab then. Um. Oh my god, this black screen is gross. Oh, <laughs> it's gross. <laughs> oh my god, I'm still in it. <laughs> Dude, I'm starting to get more f ping than FPS. Uh. Like, checking the map. They still haven't left. Oh, oh no! Oh no! No! Do we, do we keep our merms? Do I we don't, keep our merms? I don't know. I don't think so. We'll see. We'll see as we go past the treasury. No! It's because I dropped sail. That sucked, dude. Oh, oh my god, our, boat, our boat is floating. Oh, no. Hold on to something. Hold on to something. <laughs> Oh god. Goodbye. <laughs> it's a little bit far off a row, right, okay. but I'll start heading to the last place. Okay. There's uh, 10 extra blunder bombs in one of the storage crates on the back. Ah! 
<laughs> Fuck, dude. We made money today. No fucking way. Oh my god, I just went up. <laughs> we just went up with 10 more ping. Uh, oh my god, that is gross. What just oh, it, all my ping dropped down to back to normal. Immediately, dude. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> this server is back to normal now. Holy shit. It genuinely took me so long to sell all of the loot. My hands were hurting so much. In total, we managed to sell all of our loot for around 2.2 million gold concluding another successful journey on the Sea of Thieves. If you like this video, make sure to leave a like, comment, and subscribe, and check out the other videos on my channel, and I'll see you guys in the next one.